Hello travelers, Boardman21 here, and today got another top 5 for you. This one is the top 5 bossing builds, and these are going to be the 5 builds that I feel are the best for taking down single targets. They may not be the fastest running echoes in the end game. they not may not push the highest in the arena, but these ones definitely are going to be your go-tos if you just want to farm dungeons and orbis and the timeline bosses over and over again, because they are very very good at taking down their single targets and with that in mind let's go ahead and start with number one number one is going to be the shatter strike spellblade this one presented by mcfluffin i'll have it linked in the description below and all five of these will be time stamped the spellblade is a very powerful single target killer and that's because you have shatter strike that can just hit so many times and can hit really really hard and you can scale that up with some of the passives with enchant weapon that give it some more damage modifiers some extra attack speed and allows you just to burn through your mana as fast as possible which you can then just get back with mana strike and as you can see in the gameplay it does have some good aoe to it it's not the slowest echo farmer but you can definitely see when we took down orbis in the gameplay it's very very fast you have a ton of ward so you got plenty of defense with this one so it can do any boss in the game Coming in at number two, we have the Raging Squirrels Beastmaster. And with this build, you have up to 10 squirrels. You've converted your wolves into squirrels through the Herald of the Scurry unique in the helm slot. And that allows you to have 10 of these Raging Squirrels that you can build into a lot of hit damage, a lot of crit chance, so they can have up to 100% crit, hitting really, really hard in the end game. And because there's 10 of them attacking, it's a lot of attacks every second, allowing you to wither down the life of any boss in the game extremely fast this can also be extremely tanky because you have a lot of utility skills such as Warcry that can even make you invulnerable for 33% of the time Warcry can also heal you to full health you'll have swipes so that you can constantly have some leech coming in if you want to be in the fight and of course when you use minion abilities you can also have yourself healed when you do that so lots of ways to heal you got some leech in there and then that invulnerability that you have while Warcry has been procced for a second afterwards is huge but again just a super 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 tanky build that can take down any boss in the game. Coming in at number three, we have the Manifest Armor Forge Guard. And thanks to Mulbert on YouTube that had some footage of this because I couldn't find it anywhere else of an actual boss fight with him. You use Shield Throw to proc the Manifest Armor Sweep Attack and it just annihilates the bosses. Here you can see taking down Tier 4 Jor in about 10 seconds which is really, really fast and one of the top builds in Last Epoch for doing so. This one will take down any boss in the game in about the same amount of time, so if you're looking for it, the best boss farmer that you can get and you don't want to put a lot of effort into it and you're okay with playing minions, this is the build for you. Coming in at number four, we have the Rive Sentinel. You can play this as a Void Knight or you can play it as a Paladin, but basically you're stacking as much Ignite Chance as you can possibly get, and then you're converting all of those Ignite Chances on the third strike arrive into physical penetration, which allows you to hit really, really hard against bosses, allowing you to wither them down really quick. And at the same time as doing good damage, you'll have great survivability because you're leeching a good portion of all that damage. And the Sentinel class is one of those classes that has tons of defensive layers like a ton of armor your resistance and such so it allows you to boss really really well shout out to perry the pig who had some footage of this that i could grab as i'm still in the process of remaking a lot of these builds on my account Coming in last but not least, we have the number 5 spot taken up by the Flame Ray the Necromancers. And the Flame Ray Necromancers are very powerful minions played as the Necromancer on the Acolyte class. They're ranged, they're going to do fire damage, you can have up to 15 of them, depending on how you spec, you can have even a couple more than that out of the skill tree, and it allows you to take down bosses extremely fast. You'll also be extremely tanky while doing so because you can suck the life out of your minions, out of your Fire Wraith minions by using Drain Life, which is going to give you back basically unlimited amounts of mana and life, constantly leeching it, and you can have multiple Drain Lives active at the same time to keep your life and mana full at all times. And with that, that's going to be the top 5 bossing builds for Last Epoch, in my opinion anyways. Let me know what you think below in the comments, and let me know if you have one that you think deserves to be on this list. I'm always excited and interested in trying new builds, especially ones that do excel in the endgame. And with that, as always, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you next time.